Lucy, welcome to uh, C Talk and our summer conference. How are you doing? Hi, Paul. Yeah, I'm great. Thanks. How are you getting on? Yeah, yeah, good. So, look, it's your first time on here. Can you uh, introduce yourself and, and that sort of stuff? Yeah, uh, my name is Nishi Patel. I'm from uh, Bexley, around in Dartford as well. Uh, I've got a shop there in Bexley Park. It's just under 2,000 square foot. We've been a Londis now probably over 18 years there. Um, and I've just taken over from my dad about three years ago. He's oh, how's that going since you've, you've taken it over there? Yeah, leaps and bounds, to be fair. We've um, increased the turnover since then. Um, I've made a lot of changes since he's left, which I don't think he likes because he doesn't really understand a lot of the stuff I've done tech-wise uh, with yeah. Till Systems and a lot of other companies. So, yeah, it's a big jump from what he was doing to what I'm doing, to be fair. Oh, well done. Well, well done for doing that, though. So, look, we're, we're talking about we're talking about summer today. You've um, mm -hmm. you've been trading eighteen years, so you've been through yeah. quite a few quite a few summers. Um, mm -hmm. You know what works well for you. So we've now this year actually gone for. I've got Tango Ice Blast in about a month ago now. Um, I also got a flip machine in. Um, so they're two things that obviously I've got in for the summer. They've taken off really well, to be fair. Tango more than flip, but. Um, I wanted to be summer ready. Uh, we haven't quite done the refit, um, but I managed to get the machines in before the hot weather came. So that was one decent thing. And um, this year, I've actually concentrated a lot more on uh, toys and water, you know, water bolt, one water bombs and uh, water toys, guns and stuff like that. So I've really heavily invested that my time and effort into this this summer. Uh, my main reason is the margins are great. So where I'm losing in store, I'm gaining on the on them sort of lines. So. All right, yeah, that sounds like that's that's quite fun. All of that stuff, I don't, I've not seen a, a water bomb for sale for a little while. So, uh, <laughs> so I always remember them being quite fun. I mean, we live yeah. in England, so um, yeah. you know, I think we talk about summer as this uh, glorious sunshine for uh, for two months. It's not always the case. No. You know how do, how do you make things work um, when when the sun's not shining? So we see see a big. A big increase of like take home chocolates, drinks, uh, beers and wines, even though it's not hot. We still, so we try to offer a better range. So we've increased our American lines um, to counteract when it is really hot, uh, cut, when it is raining, you know, people like to sit at home, watch movies. Um, so we try and counteract it in there. So we offer a bit more family take home stuff um, if yeah. they are sitting indoors. Um, but that's probably the, the area we, we might probably need to increase um, a bit when it is a bit of a downturn, find other areas to increase our sales in. Well, I guess the one thing we do have is a number of sporting events. Obviously, England yeah. uh, doing well in the cricket and, and Wimbledon at, at the moment. Doing anything around that, or or does that just uh, just go? Uh, we don't. Some of we unless it's a World Cup stuff like that. We don't really specify um, bits. We do push it online. We do do our social media stuff around sports events. Mm. Um, we don't really do any special in-store offers unless Londis is offering stuff uh, for like World Cup football and stuff like that. We'll probably push more for the Winter World Cup this year. Um, yeah. That'll probably be something we'll focus on being around Christmas. Hopefully we can increase our sales around that period. Oh, yeah. It's going to be it's going to be a crazy time there. So, it look, is. thanks so much for joining us. Before you go, though, can we get some mm. uh, some of your, your top tips for some of the retailers out there? Not just for making the most of summer, maybe, but uh, in general. Yes, my, my 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 top tips are always what my old man, my dad's always taught me was, you know, have a tidy, full, clean shop, well lit. Uh, customer service has got to be impeccable when it comes to things like that. Um, and just helping the local community keep keep doing what you're doing. Maybe try some summer events. Uh, maybe something we're going to try maybe towards the end with a couple of local schools doing a summer fate, uh, fates oh, and nice. stuff. So yeah, just just keep keep in touch, go with the times, and if you need to get machines like Tango in for the summer, why not give it a go? Good man, thank you so much for joining us. We'll no um, I'm going to put you back into the into the green room, but uh, yeah. I'll hopefully catch up with you soon. Yeah, thanks again, Paul. Cheers. Thanks ever so much. Thanks, Craig. Hey, Bob. Welcome back to Sea Talk. How are you doing? Can you do, can thanks. you do the introduction? I know many people have seen you and know you, but uh, can Absolutely. you introduce yourself? Very kind of you. I'm sure lots of people don't know me. Um, so I am Craig Starling. I work for Suntory Beverages and Food, gb and I, our long name. Um, I am in the field sales team, so I look after the guys in the south, um, but also work closely with a lot of retailers. Jolly good. And so, look, we're here to talk about, about all things summer, you know, yeah. and um, you work closely with a lot of retailers. You know, why, why, is, why, is, it, um, why is it a big deal? 
why is summer a big deal? So, summer's massive. Um, I mean, we, I'm in the soft drinks side of things. So, well, I say summer's massive. Hopefully, summer is massive because of the warm weather. We see massive, massive Ooh. peaks when the warm weather comes in. So, hopefully, we're continuing to see that 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 go through the whole of summer. Um, so, but it's as well as the warm weather. It's the first kind of year this year that we can actually get out and about properly and start socialising more and more. Mm. You know, with the summer, you get barbecues, you get day trips, staycations are massive again this year. Lots of lots of um, increases in in sales of staycations areas and sales linked to the convenience side of things. Um, summer just brings all those out. People are out and about more and more playing in sport. So all these different things essentially can can lead to convenience sales if people if retailers get on the back of it properly and really drive that piece. Um, so you're seeing a lot of occasions really that happen happen over summer. We sort of touched on it with Nietzsche a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I mean, loads of occasions over summer. Sport is is the big one for us. Um, yeah. I mean, in the UK, it's the first time again that the, the, a lot of the sporting events are actually opening up properly. Yeah. So in the UK alone, you got well, you've said you've got the cricket, you've got uh, Wimbledon, you've got the Women's Euros, uh, and you've got the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham this year. So all those sort of big, big events that drive people to be together, um, which helps sales of the large packs, the the, the take home packs, your crisps, your snacks, those sort of things, yeah. and then you see people participating in sport as well. People see it on TV. People want to get involved, so people are picking up drinks water sports drinks to prep for the uh, exercise to stay hydrated during it and then to recover mm. i'm particularly one who needs to recover after doing exercise so it's uh, all those all those bits which just help help drive sales and, and summer's summer's massive in the sense of you need a drink so you've got to make sure that the chill is all, always fully stacked because people like cold drinks so, yeah, absolutely. so yeah. look, we're running out of time i'm going to ask you uh um, focusing on you and your brands a little bit, just for you guys. Yeah. It's only fair to you. So, uh, what what are you guys up to? And and uh, you know, so, how, how can that support retailers? So, Lucas Aid Sport said it's a big big year for summer of sport. Um, so, we've got a big promotion that we're running with our partnership at the English FA. So, there's a consumer prize going on the pack for uh, Lucas Aid Sport with consumers to win the chance of winning a range of football goodies, including training at St. George's Park with the women's team. Um, there's a retailer uh, prize going on as well. So retailers who are the heart of the community for many, many communities around the country, they've got a chance of winning training kits and training goodies for their football clubs. Yeah. Um, then moving on to lucas aid energy we've had a massive massive promotion with uh xbox um where yeah. we've run a campaign with halo where consumers can win xboxes and experience points um alerts growing from strength to strength going going massive in the stimulation category and then ribena we've just launched a fantastic new campaign with ribena which is all around giving the the awkward situations in life a little bit of a a, a wave, whether it be the awkward fist pump handshake or whether it be a dog being too friendly. Um, the, the slogan we're running with is when it's right being a bit awkward, chin up. And the response we've had to it so far has just been absolutely brilliant. Yeah, good fun. Very good. Craig, time is up. Believe it or not, I told you it would go really, really quick. <laughs> Hang around though. I'm going we'll to uh, I'm going to call in, in Gavin and uh, see what he's got to say. I'll speak to you in a little bit. Cheers, Paul. Gavin, welcome to Sea Talk. Hi, Paul. Finally made it onto onto the conference. Yes. Could Thanks you uh, introduce me. yourself? I mean, I know who you are, but you know, it's, for everyone else. So my name's Gavin. Um, I'm a customer business manager for Molson Coors Beverage Company. Um, I work as part of the convenience team as the the nicer account manager. I've been doing so now uh, for about six years with the business. Jolly good. And uh, we're obviously here to. Uh, Talk talk about summer. You've you've heard some of the uh, the other thoughts. What what are your views on on how to make the most of summer, both you maybe individually and and as a company? So for me, you, you've already touched on some of this. That um, the beer purchase is driven by the occasion. 
So I'll, I'll give you an example. So mm. imagine it's a, it's a Saturday morning, the sun's shining, you get a phone call from a friend to say, I'm going to have a barbecue this afternoon. Uh, do you want to come around, bring some beers? So my thought process then goes to, right, I want to buy some, I want to buy some beers. The most important thing to me is that I can grab them on the way. They'll be chilled mm-hmm. when I get there and I can consume them when we get there. So for me, chilled beer is, is an absolute must. And I think that when you when you go into convenience stores, you expect to see four packs chilled as a priority or individual bottles chilled. The second part, that the, the mid-size packs, if you can get them chilled, great. But if you can't, concentrate on the, on the four packs. So chilled beer is the most important thing and the key driver for sales in convenience. Good. And, and you and your brands then? As we heard from from Craig, what uh, looks like what, what about yourself? What are, what are you doing? What are your brands up to this summer to support retailers? So we, we, we've got a lot of um, of on pack promotions um, happening this summer, but we've also launched um, Madri as well uh, in March. So Madri, Madri was born in Spain, and we we launched it in the off trade last year, and it's ju- sorry in the on trade last year in pubs, and it's gone from absolute strength to strength to strength. We launched it into the off trade and convenience at the end of March this year, mm. and over the last four weeks, we've become the best performing brand in world beer, and we've now got an eleven point eight percent share. Of, of the world beer market so it's absolutely going from strength to strength to strength if you're not stocking it then please get hold of it <laughs> <laughs> i was going to uh come come to you both in a minute and uh, and, and finish on uh, both of your top tips but i think i might have a actually quite a, a decent guess at uh, what yours might be shall yes. we uh so shall we shall we ask craig to join join us again and uh okay. we'll we'll do the top tips together I might even see if uh, if Nish is there. He is. Here he is. We'll, we'll, we'll all come back. Hello. Hello, fella. Hello. Oh, Thanks for still being in the there. Oh, Here we go. We're all back. So, look, uh, Nish, you've given us your, your top tips. Um, yeah. Gavin, what, what's your top tip then for retailers? It would absolutely be look at your range. Make sure your range is, uh, is fit for purpose. 51% of beers sold now are either premium or world beers. We've got the, the best-selling world beer um, at the moment in Madri. So please, please start stocking Madri. If you're not already stocking, you'll see it everywhere. Lisa, we're going to give you the last word. But Craig, before that, top tip from you? Top tip for me is the sporting occasions. Really, so many going on this year. Um, as I say, so get behind them. Nice, you don't wait till the end of the year. Don't wait till the World Cup. Get the Women's Euro. I'll, I'll, I'll the get on it now. I will. I've heard your speech. I'll get on with it now. <laughs> Go on then. This is last, the very last word goes to you, my yeah. friend. For me, you've got to try new things, give everything a crack, and you've got to keep up with the times. Like you were saying, Gavin, about Madri, we've got both of the variants in because there were new products and they're flying out. Um, so, yeah, you've got to try new things, keep up with the times, and get your shop filled up with all the new, not, new lines, exciting stuff. Wonderful. Thank you all so much. Time, like I said, goes really quick. That's the that's the entire conference done. Um, stay where you are, but uh, we're going to end now. Just just uh, a great big thanks from all of us at Sea Talk and everyone watching. Cheers, guys. Thank you. Great. Thanks a lot.